hi students today I will explain a problem that is shown here so let me first read this problem a manufacturer of television sets is interested in the effect of tube conductivity of four different types of coating for color picture tubes a completely randomized experiment is conducted and the following conductivity data are obtained uh, so basically the manufacturer is interested uh, in knowing the conductivity values at each coating type and uh, he wants to know whether uh, these values differ uh, for different coating types right and we have uh, asked three questions here but let's talk about the, this table first so at each there are four coating types as shown in this table each coating type at each coating type uh, four trials uh, were conducted and the values of conductivity uh, were noted for those trials similarly for other coating types right and the three questions uh, that uh, we need to answer is uh, first question is is there a difference in conductivity due to coating type uh, and alpha value uh, 0 0.05 we can use and uh, next question is test all pairs of means using the Fisher LST method with alpha uh, equals to 0 0.05 the second question here is dependent on the first question uh, if the answer to the first question is that there is no difference in conductivity type let's say uh, after uh, solving the first part we found out that there is no difference between the these different coating types uh, that means there is no need of Fisher LST test because uh, the all the means uh, should be the mean uh, mean conductivity values at each coating type uh, should be same they should not differ from each other right but if we noted the differences in conductivity then uh, the second question is really one then we want to know uh, which coating types uh, differ uh, from the other coating types we want to know more information about individual coating types uh, like for example whether coating type 1 uh, varies from 2 or uh, whether there is no difference between coating type 1 and 2 but there is a difference between coating type 1 and 3 so this type of questions we need to answer uh, and that's why we should uh, we are we will compare all pairs of means using the Fisher LST method right and the final part is uh, analyze the residuals and draw conclusions about model adequacy uh, we need to analyze the residual we need to plot the residuals and then analyze uh, them to make sure that the model is adequate right we will solve this problem uh, using a mini tab so i will open mini tab here i have already entered uh, conductivity values for each coating type in mini tab so you can see coating type 1 i have four uh, values similarly for coating type 2 3 and 4 right now as i explained to you last time uh, we will go to stat then we will go to ANOVA one way ANOVA and since the conductivity values at all coating types C1 or like 1, 2, 3, 4 they are our response variables so I will select all of them alpha value was 0.05 that means 95 percent confidence level which is good in comparison uh, I will select features uh, individual features LST test we need to conduct so I will select this option here features individual error rate again the alpha value is 0 0.05 that means 5 percent so we enter 5 here if the alpha value uh, would have been 0.1 that means 10 percent we would use 10 here right but for now 5 is good then I will hit ok next we need to study the residuals we need to plot the residuals so I will click on graph uh, the residual plots I will select two residual plots normal plot of residuals 
and residuals versus feeds hit ok and then I will hit ok again and we have all the results here so let's study the first uh, part of the results here our first question was is there a difference in conductivity due to coating type you can see F value is 14.30 which is a significant value and uh, probability value is 0 right almost 0 so that means there is a difference between uh, conductivity values for different coating types so our first uh, answer is yes the conductivity differs because of coating type right next uh, we will study the results of Fisher's LST test so let, uh, let us scroll down here uh, you can see Fisher's 95% individual confidence intervals let's focus on this part here this is basically coating type 1 uh, subtracted from coating type 2 uh, this means the mean conductivity value uh, at coating type 1 is subtracted from the mean conductivity value that was observed at coating type 2 similarly the value at 1 was subtracted from value at 3 and 4 so basically we are comparing mean conductivity value at coating type 1 against coating type 2 coating type 3 and coating type 4 right and in this graph here uh, the confidence 95% uh, confidence interval uh, is shown and uh, the lower value uh, of the confidence interval the upper value of the confidence interval and the center value uh, are given in this table here like the lower value is minus 6.586 center value is 0 0.250 and upper value is 7.086 and what is what is this value what is minus 6.586 that is the difference between the mean value of conductivity at uh, coating type 1 and coating type 2 right it's a difference between the mean conductivity values at these two coating types now uh, what this all means to us is if we will look at each of the confidence interval and if zero is included in the confidence interval that means there is no dif uh, no difference between uh, the conductivity values at those two coating types so for first case here you can see the zero is included or we can also check the whether the sign is changed from negative to positive or positive to negative uh, if the answer is yes that means the zero is included in the confidence uh, interval and that means that there is no difference uh, of conductivity uh, for coating type 1 and coating type 2 right can we say similar uh, thing about coating type 1 and coating type 3 no because the zero is not included in the confidence interval similarly for 1 and 4 0 is not included now let's scroll down here now we are comparing coating type 2 against coating type 3 and 4 here also you can see that uh, the 0 is not included uh, in the confidence interval that means there is a difference uh, of conductivity for coating type 2 and for coating type 3 right since zero is not included uh, in the confidence interval finally we will check uh, coating type 3 against coating type 4 now you can see uh, the confidence interval the zero value is uh, inside the confidence interval and by the sign of uh, sign of lower value is changed minus 9.836 to a 
positive 3.836 value as upper uh, value of the confidence interval that means there is no difference uh, of conductivity for coating type 3 and coating type 4 so basically that is our uh, what is our conclusion uh, from the study is coating type 1 and coating type 2 uh, no difference of conductivity similarly coating type 3 and coating type 4 no difference of conductivity and rem uh, the all other uh, conductivity differences for all other coating uh, uh, types are significant next we will look at the residuals the question 3 here analyze the residuals and draw conclusions about model adequacy so let us look at the normal probability plot uh, you can see here that there is nothing wrong with this plot there are a minor deviations from the normality but that is okay uh, that 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 doesn't mean anything so we are fine with normal probability plot but if we look at the residuals versus fitted value uh, you can see that the the shape is there is a significant trend in the shape it is a funnel type shape right and that means the variance is uh, not same the funnel type uh, shape indicates that the variable is non-constant so we can uh, document our findings regarding the uh, residuals right so in this way we have answered all three questions and uh, your homework problems are uh, similar to this particular problem here so if you understand this uh, you should not have any problem uh, solving your homework uh, questions uh, that's all for today thank you bye